The Thracians, an ancient Indo-European people, inhabited the lands of modern-day Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, Turkey, and the Republic of North Macedonia from 12th century before the Common Era until 1st century AD. Thracian pottery, often characterized by its distinctive shapes and intricate decorations, provides valuable insights into their daily lives and artistic sensibilities. Their pottery ranged from simple utilitarian vessels to more elaborate forms used in rituals and ceremonies. Their decoration of pottery often featured geometric patterns, animal motifs, and stylized human figurines reflecting their connection to nature and their belief in the spiritual world. The Thracian language is generally considered to be an Indo-European language, though its exact classification within the Indo-European family remains a subject of debate among scholars. Linguists and population geneticists theorize that Thracian language evolved out of languages spoken by the Corduware culture. Thracian language has been found to be somewhat similar to Slavic and Baltic languages. The Greeks often viewed the Thracians as barbarians, and the two cultures clashed in various wars and skirmishes. However, there were periods of peace and cooperation, particularly during the Hellenistic period. Despite their differences, the Thracians were influenced by Greek culture. Greek mythology, philosophy, and art made their way into Thracian society, and many Thracian nobles adopted Greek customs. The Thracians also contributed to Greek culture, particularly in the realm of religion and mysticism. The cult of Dionysus, for example, has strong Thracian roots. Over centuries, the Thracian culture gradually assimilated into the emerging Slavic cultures. This process was influenced by various factors, including intermarriage, language shift, and the adoption of Slavic customs and beliefs. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of 9 Thracian samples and ran them for my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The links to purchase those raw DNA files will be in the description of the video, and the link to purchase Trait Predictor Executable will also be in the description of the video. Six of the nine samples were male, and five of the six samples carried Y lineage E1B, whereas one carried Y lineage R1AZ645. The most common predicted phenotype among those nine samples was Alpinid, and three samples scored this phenotype. Here is the morph of the average predicted phenotype. The most common predicted eye color among the nine samples was brown, but some samples did have lighter coloring and blue and green eye colors. The most common predicted hair color among the nine samples was dark brown, followed by black, but two samples did also have lighter hair colors. The most common predicted skin color among the nine samples was olive, but two samples did also have lighter skin tones. The most common predicted hair texture among the nine samples was curly, but some samples did also have wavy, straight, and kinky hair. Every one of the nine samples had a Greek-shaped nose, which is a long, aquiline nose shape. The samples had a predisposition to high rods of male pattern hair loss and taller height. The samples had an equal predisposition to warrior and warrior traits, intermediate dopamine levels, and intermediate stress resilience. The samples had a predisposition to lower availability of D2 receptor sites, which leads to lower odds of schizophrenia and bipolar, and higher propensity for no-go learning. Speaking of bipolar, the samples had a low predisposition to bipolar 1. The samples also had a low predisposition to ADHD and depression. Almost every sample had a predisposition to high odds of autism, except for one sample, who had a predisposition to intermediate odds of autism. None of the samples were predicted to be lactase persistent. The samples were predisposed to a higher level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The samples were predisposed to an average odds of cardiovascular issues and lower odds of type 2 diabetes. They also had a predisposition to lower than average levels of blood glucose, which is good. Three of the nine samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants, which is rather average. The samples had a low predisposition to migraine. Almost all of the samples had a low predisposition to gout. The samples had an average predisposition to polycystic ovary syndrome and an average predisposition to cataracts. The samples had a high predisposition to age-related macular degeneration, average predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis, very high predisposition to epilepsy, 
average predisposition to myopia, low predisposition to corneal astigmatism, high predisposition to primary biliary cirrhosis, high predisposition to Alzheimer's, and high predisposition to testicular cancer based on ketogy genotypes. The Fraction samples had a high predisposition to athleticism. The frequency of the sprinter variants in ACTM3 R577X in Fraitians were much higher than in European average. The Fraitian samples had an average odds of epithelial cancers and a high predisposition to leukemia. One of the samples had high iron levels and could possibly have hemochromatosis. The samples had a predisposition to lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes and low odds of multiple sclerosis, as well as low odds of type 1 diabetes. Three of the nine samples carried risk variants for rare diseases, and two of those three samples were even homozygous for the conditions, meaning they could be affected by them. The conditions were Parkinson's disease and hypopastasia. All of the samples had an average odds of obesity. The samples had a slight predisposition to higher levels of vitamin D. The samples had a predisposition to higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol. The samples had a predisposition to shorter telomere lengths, which leads to a shorter biological lifespan. More than half of the samples had a high odds of alcohol addiction. The samples had a low predisposition to syncope. The most common blood group among the samples was type A, followed by type O. None of the samples scored blood group B or AB. Thanks for watching the video until the end. All useful links containing research material will be in the description of the video. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and share.